And now that it's gone, I don't know what to play. What am I supposed to play? Seriously, what am I supposed to play? KOF? Guilty Gear? <laughs> um, I don't- I really do not know. <laughs> the beta was so good that I don't even know what to play next. But, I did have fun with the beta, so... For this video, I'm going to give my full thoughts on this beta, so... Let's get take a look at all the foot I've gathered and get right into it. So, to start, I want to talk about the Battle Hub, and... I'm sorry that this is where I had to start it off, because I don't know why my I had this for the Battle Hub. I think this is like the only footage I had of the Battle Hub exactly, unless I start to dive more into it. I had, I'll probably check if I did have anything else, but... The Battle Hub, of course, was really cool area, because for a lot of fighting games now, they have like this unique arena where you're, e you're at like... Um, like an area, and you're just, you'll just see everyone at these arcade places, so you can have like two arcade systems next to each other, and then that's where you would play some, because all the Arc System games has it now, um, I'm trying to think, I think Arc Systems is the one where they have like all those lobby sets, because if you, if you were like a Blaze Blue veteran, then you're used to that, and even in Guilty Gear Strive, you have that system, and I'd say this one really does it the best because you can just hang here and even if you're like you can't find a match there you can also just set up a uh, casual match finder and then get a match through so you can definitely get a lot of matches through matchmaking and the battle hubs okay now i got okay i have to talk about this because <laughs> the character customization what was going on we currently have a what was going on with this? It's going to be crazier than when Soul Calibur 6 came out and people um, showed their creativity in that game. Now this was an awesome feature that I found that was in the beta was the ability to play on like the arcade systems and you would be able to play whatever was available at the time. So. They had Final Fight available, and then at, once that time was up, they swapped it, and then you were able to play Magic Sword. And after that was done, they switched it to Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. And you can also compete for scores, which I did a lot. I made it to number one for Magic Sword and Street Fighter 2, and then was immediately dethroned. So, rip my score, everybody. Rip my score. But, uh, for how these played, I think... The emulation for this one was fine. It played really well because I tried to do the Akuma Select for Super Street Fighter 2, which you should see right about now. So hold on a second. I did it. It'll be because I had to do the process of it, and I can tell you the process later. But yep, there we go. I was able to select Akuma just fine, and it ran pretty well. I, I had a lot of fun playing through it. But yeah, there's two different modes for it. So you got the free play and the ranking challenge. Now, the free play, you are able to use it to play with two people, so you were able to do local play, but I don't think you were able to do it on, uh, with online play. So if you were trying to play with, let's say, a friend online through this, I'm not sure you'd be able to. But I'm hoping they are able to fix that, because I thought I saw that in the in one of the trailers, where you're able to have like two systems connected to you and you were able to play with a friend. I might have to double check on that. Let me get into the gameplay, which is the big thing everyone wants to hear about. So, let me first talk about the drive gauge. So, with the drive gauge, that is the new system for this game, and I was really loving it. I loved it a lot in the So, basically, you have, let me see. Yeah, you have six bars, which you're able to use. So, you can use them for three effects. So, you can use it for a parry, a drive impact, and you can also use it to cancel into like a drive rush. I think it's called drive rush. I have to double check the name. But yeah, so with the drive impact you're seeing right now, it's similar to the focus attack where it can be used to, as a counter attack. And you can just like punish your enemy and just stun them for, um, to, for another attack. I, I used it a lot and I have heard, overheard a lot of people talking about it. It's not as busted as it sounds. It's not that aggressive. Because it, there is lots of ways to get around it, because one, you're able to get around it by landing three hits, which will cancel it out. The other is grabbing the opponent out of it and 
the other one is by pairing it. Because if you're able to pair it, then you can um, you can respond with your own drive impact. So you can cancel it out. So there's definitely a lot of ways to get around drive impact if you were having trouble get, uh, getting around drive impact. There we go. So now I want to talk about the rest of the characters. So let me start off by talking about Luke, who is like the main focus of this game. So for me, I'm starting... And he was like the last character in Street Fighter V, and I, I like his designs here a lot more, aside from like the WWE. But as for his gameplay, I I enjoyed it a lot. It was very simple for him. I'd say he's gonna be, of course, the character you get to play at the beginning of uh, the story mode, so he's gonna be like the easiest to go to. For the new. But yeah, he has the he has like a charge attack with this fist. He has the I forgot what the drive rising knuckle, or I had, I, it's so hard to remember his moves, but for a lot of his visuals, I love them a lot, especially this one. Look at the level threes. The level threes were so fun to land. Which is so fun. Let me go back to that. Hold up. That's also another thing that I like. So, I also forgot to mention this when I was talking about drive gauge, but you're able to also use your meter. For drive to amplify your special moves so you don't have to use the meter on the bottom that's its own meter and won't be used only for your super attacks so you don't have to worry about wasting it and not getting to level three and as for the level threes they add when you're at 25 percent then they become critical arts and you'll get a additional cutscene i guess i'm gonna say like another par in your level three attack pretty much so as you can see when i do the level three there isn't like a pause it's like i'm not at, like not low damage so no. but yeah look at the effects it looks so stylish i love it look at it look at how good that looks talk about the shoto brothers yes i said the shoto brothers i know what shotos are all right don't don't at me but yeah, both Ken and Ryu were both fun to play. I love the changes that they had for both their characters. Because I'd say I was I was honestly expecting to have a bit more fun with Ken. But I definitely had more fun with Ryu. Because for Ryu, he now has um, two new moves. So he has one where he's able to charge his Hadouken by doing a down down and punch. And that will um, make his Hadouken again. Which will add like a specificity effect. And then he has the Hanjo. Uh, I, 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 I got the name on that one too. But it's a back circle input. And he basically just takes a step and does a small Hadouken. I like the effect for it. It looks really good. And as for Ken, he has. They brought back one of his kick moves that I heard people talking about. Which were really good. I love doing the kick moves as well. I yeah, think that should be good audio. So. Now to Guile, and honestly, Guile felt so good to play. Anyway, I love this part. That was me during the beta. That was when I first discovered the drive impact, and I got it again. It was just so good to get people with it. But yeah, with Guile, a lot of a lot of his moves were just really executed. Oh my gosh, how many times did I get drive impact on this guy? I didn't, I didn't do it on purpose, by the way. I just knew when to react. That was the thing. Again, you have to know the best time to react with the drive impact. I know I'm supposed to be talking about Guile, but reacting to that is going to be important, or otherwise you're going to be complaining about it, and everyone's going to keep saying skill issue for you. So be prepared for that. But anywho, um, one of my favorite moves with Guile that they gave him back was a was Sonic Blade, where he throws down the Sonic Boom when you do a back circle input, and you can add onto it by doing a Sonic Boom, and it will combine the two into another Sonic Boom attack, which I love doing a lot, because I I would just throw that down, and if my opponent were to jump at me then you could just follow up with that and then hit them with the sonic boom it was much it's a very unique mechanic because i i had something similar to that in mortal kombat 11 where i would play kung lao and i would just throw a buzzsaw down where it would just be placed down as like a trap and then i would just either move that around and just amplify it to like move yep that's what i did right there yep there it is hold on a second let me replay that so 
Hold on. How far do I have to go back? It was right there! It was at like the perfect position, how did I lose it? Okay, hold on. Yep, okay, there we go. Yeah, I set it down and then uh, rush the opponent by doing uh, a heavy low kick. So, there's definitely a lot of techniques you'll be able to do with that move. And I'm going to enjoy using them a lot. Keep it simple with Jury. And I'm just going to say she was very interesting to both play and watch on screen. That's it. I'm just going to say that. End of story. We don't need to dive into it anymore. Alright, but now let me talk about the guy I played the most. Jamie. This is the reason why I'm getting this game. This character right here was the most fun to play in the beta. Let me tell you, everything about him was both fun and stylish. So, let me start with the first thing was his drinking mechanics. So, you can do up to four drinks. You can just do a down down punch and you would just level up the drinking level. And each time you leveled up the drinking gauge, you would get access to more moves. So, when you were at level one, you get these, this new spin kick move. At level two, I think you would be able to like get a new combo string. And then at level three, you would get like another one where it would be an overhead and like two more kicks afterwards, which was so good to do. And then level four? Oh my gosh, where's the level four? Hold on a second. Let me fast forward and find the level. Oh man, when you see this dude at level four. Okay, yeah, there we go. Look at him. His hair just comes down and you just see him steaming up. Like, look at this man. He's just on fire. He's just straight up drunk. All ready to just throw down. This man is just ready to destroy you. Let me tell you. I, I, I'm just looking at him. It just is intimidating. I, I love this character. <laughs> and I'm hoping he's the best one yet in Street Fighter 6. Before I finish off talking about him, I gotta talk about his super, cause oh my gosh, this his super is beautiful. Just look at the style of this one. Just look, I, I just love how this looks. Last thing I'm gonna talk about are, are the control schemes. So, in this game, there's going to be two different ones. So there's the classic one and the modern one. So the classic one is the one that's been around for years, which is three punches and then three kicks, low, medium, and heavy, or light, yeah, it's light. And then this one, which is the modern one, is a light attack, medium attack, and heavy attack, which I find weird because I'm so used to seeing it be flipped where it would be light attack, on the left side and then the medium tag would be triangle on the top but i guess not everyone follows that similar control scheme but yeah so for that one um i do know you're able to do auto combos as well so you would do a light medium into heavy and um follow up into a special move i think i'm not sure if it followed the same um rules as the king of fighters one because i did not try to use one as much because I personally didn't really like using it as much because I preferred using the classic control scene. I find the classic one much easier to use, funny enough. The modern one I wasn't sure about, but if if you're new, I think you might find it easier to pick this up. So you can just pick this one up and if you're like ready for the classic one, you can just switch that at any time because the classic one will just feel so much better to use personally. The modern one, well good, um, I always prefer it over the classic, I'm not sure if the, they, um, if there's going to be any uh, changes to that because I do know that you, you could match make with someone just doing classic only and then someone with modern, I'm pretty sure you were able to do that. I, but another problem I did have though is when I would select a character, it would, um, it would do modern controls as the default, which was so weird because I um, I didn't even realize it. So, because when I picked the character at the start, I had Luke and modern controls was the default. And I didn't even realize it because I would just keep hitting X and I'm like, where's my, um, where's my other kick? Wait, what's up with my controls? Wait, oh no! 
Mother! I'd say that's pretty much it for my thoughts on this game. Honestly, it's definitely a great modern fighter for next year, because I think this will probably be like the next the uh, actual next gen game. Because I know this and Tekken 8 will be on like the next gen software, because Tekken 8 will be on Unreal 5 and um with Street Fighter 6 we're using the Resident Evil engine. So yeah, this next era fighting game is going to be big, let me tell you. So, thank you guys for, well, I hope you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on this game. It's definitely going to be big, and I want to give a big shout out to Capcom for allowing me to have access to the beta. It was a really fun experience, and I hope the dev team go to the prizes with all the content that they got to showcase. So, thank you all for watching. Be sure to tune in more, more of my content and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one.